So you want to turn a list into a data frame. Or maybe you have multiple lists of lists and you want to turn that into a data frame. This is very helpful when you're working with vanilla Python or if you're working with NumPy arrays and you want to turn them into uh, something pandas compatible. Let's take a look at how to do this. First thing that we'll do is we'll import pandas as PD. Great. And then I'm going to create a few sample lists so that I can work with here. So I have list one, two, three, and four, and then it is a list of values. The first value is going to be a restaurant name in San Francisco. And the second value is going to be the number of customers that attend that restaurant in San Francisco. I'll run that cell. And then the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create a data frame from a single list. Now, the way I'm going to do this is I'm just going to call the generic pandas data frame function. So PD dot data frame. And then here's where I pass my data. And the data is what the values are going to be within your data frame. So I'm saying data equals <clears throat> list one, which is the foreign cinema in 50 here. I'll run this. And you can see here that pandas then returns to me a single column data frame that has my list values as the rows. So foreign cinema is row number one, and then 50 is row number two. Now, this only happens when you have a single list in there. Every other instance we'll look at is when you have multiple lists. And uh, let's, let's see what that looks like here. <clears throat> the next thing that I'll do is I will pass a list of lists. And so now I'm going to pass multiple lists because I want these to be the rows of my data frame. So I'll call pd.dataframe. And in my data here, I'm going to be passing a list. And this list is actually going to be comprised of other lists. So list one, two, three, and four. I'll run this. And then as you can see, each list equals a row within my data frame. So I had four lists beforehand, and now I have four rows. And each row is going to be the combination of lists or the, the, the values within each individual list. Okay. Now, the next thing you'll notice is that these column names are kind of lame. They're just literally zero and one, which is going to be the default column names that pandas gives to us. However, we can specify our own column names. So I'm going to have the same function as beforehand, but in this case, I'm going to specify my columns. So I'm going to say that one column is named name and one column is named customers or num customers. I'll run this. And now you can see that my columns have been renamed to those uh, new values. And then the last thing that we'll check out is when you want to specify your index. Now, 99% of the time, you're going to be okay with the default index. However, if you're getting a little advanced, you may want to set your own index. Well, in this case, I'll have the same function as I had beforehand, but I'm also going to specify an index uh, value as well. And I'm going to say res one, two, three, and four. I'll run this. And now you can see that my index is res one, two, three, and four with my values that were the lists of lists and the custom column names. So that is how you turn a list into a pandas data frame.